The DJ Roundtable Show is live. It's the DJ Roundtable Show. Tell another DJ about the show. Please subscribe. It is Tuesday no. night. It is 8 o'clock. You know where your DJ's at. I know where I'm at. I'm here with you. Yes, it is another DJ Roundtable Show. And as always, uh, Matt is showing some uh, fun stuff. Of course, he came in a little bit late, so he's trying to show us some cool new stuff. Uh, Maui 28, I believe. No, it's an HK. I don't do oh, LD. Oh, HK. I'm sorry. I do LD. I don't, I don't like LD's uh, anything smaller than the 44, but I needed something that uh, for smaller events that I could just plug in and go. And these actually sound really good. That sub is killer. I, I say that in my humble apartment but uh, i'll have a better review after friday but bought them on amazon so if i don't like them returning them but i'm just i'm tired of of uh not having a nice room filling sound with just two tops if i'm doing a smaller party and my only two tops are 15s because the 12s don't put enough bass out so bring him a shot well again i think you'll be happy with it you know I, it's one of the things they, they always have fun with but again it's just a little bit of show and tell for matt we yeah. have some great DJs here tonight, as always, all around. And we have Air National. We have uh, Dinah Blender, all the way from Australia, the man who is living in the future. Plus, where's our other Australian DJ at? Where's Paul? Paul's got to be here. We need two Australians. We need two Aussies. Buy yeah. one, get one. That's what I say. <laughs> uh, let's see here. If you are tuning in tonight, make sure that you uh, subscribe to the channel. We got Chris Disc, who is out on who is out on remote right now. He is uh, out uh, having some fun somewhere, uh, doing some work. We got uh, hey, you course, guys. Yeah. what's going on? Of course, we got a cool thing in South uh, Carolina. We got Jeff in North uh, Carolina, Dyna Blend all the way in Western Australia, or actually Northwest Australia. He's up there, and then I got. Matt in California, and I got Chris in New York, and myself in the middle in uh, Chicagoland area. So hopefully you have a great day where you're at and you're having fun. I know we're getting ready for the holiday season and getting ready for some holiday events. Oh, look at this. There we go. Oh. Chris has got a bunch of stuff going on there. And all, as always, you know, we always uh, thank you for being here. And if you're watching this over on the tubes, do me a favor, if you don't mind. Please help me and help grow the channel. Make sure you put down the thumbs up. That's always grateful. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you check the bell icon. And then do one more additional thing to help me slay that beast, which is the YouTube algorithm. Share the video. Go to another DJ, share the video with them. That's always grateful and always greatly appreciate if you can do that. With that said, uh, we do have, of course, DJs in and out. Uh, some DJs can't make it. This is the week of Thanksgiving for 2024. We have Thanksgiving this coming Thursday. And then, of course, Black Friday. And that's what we're going to talk a little bit about starting off tonight with. Is there a Black Friday deal for this coming Friday? that you may have your eye on. It could be for your business. It could be something else. But I wanted to see if anyone's looking for anything Black Friday. Now, one of the things I was looking at, and I'm really going to try and see if I can get a hold of one, is, and I talked about it before, from Harbor Freight here in the U.S., uh, they have a little toolbox that's like $19, $18. They're going to have it for like 10 bucks on Black Friday. And they have three colors, red, blue, and black. I'm going to try and see if I can get a, a whole black $10. Color. I'm sorry, what? A whole $9 A whole nine savings. I thought you were going to say like a car or something. Oh, no, I already got that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a cool little thing. And I'm looking at it for like little like adapters and stuff like that to have here in the office to keep things organized. And that's one of the things I was like looking at. I'm like, that would be awesome here in the office. To have that on top of my little desk over here, I have a, a metal shelving unit I got from an office supply uh, store, and have it up there just for like adapters uh, 
for audio. And that I would think would be great here because then I can always have that extra of those backups and when I need one, pull one out. But uh, that's my eye, what I'm keeping on for, and again, that's for the business, plus it's a cool-looking cool, a cool -looking toy, it's a nice little cool toolbox. So I'm going to start with Jeff over there in uh, North Carolina. And uh, is there something on Black Friday that you're looking for, either for yourself or for your business, that you you got your eye on, that you're like, eh, I might get this? Not a lot. Um, I'm pretty happy with everything I've got. Um you know, I still need to use it to is it its fullest extent. Um, so I've got that. One thing I'm going to probably purchase this week, and I'll see if it's on sale on Friday. That's not a big deal. It's a uh, uh, industrial Velcro. I want the really heavy duty stuff because I'm going to. I'm looking at mounting my wash effects on top of my uh, my column arrays. So there's a good flat surface up there, uh, nowhere to mount, they like to put screws. And I don't want to, you know, drill holes into my nice speakers that are white. Um, so I did see somebody had done that before. And so I'm going to try to do that same thing. I'm going to, I'll make a video if I do that. Um, it's, uh, just mounting, you know, my wash effects up on top of, uh, my column arrays and, you know, have some lighting that's, uh, high up instead of, uh, you know, putting them on stands or, or bringing the totems. So that's one thing I'm gonna look at. It's only like 15 bucks. I mean, you know, industrial strength that uh, Velcro is, you know, it's pretty inexpensive, but it serves a purpose. Um, that's about all I'm really looking at. I do. There's a few people I watch on YouTube and I see that Walmart and Costco has like 85 inch TVs for a ridiculously low price, I want to say like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars for an eighty-five inch TV. Uh, is that on the uh, the list for cool thing for for Hunter? Is that something that he would want in the man cave? One of those eighty-five inch TVs. Uh, so, Hunter, what is your Black Friday thing you're keeping your eye out for? Well. Technically, I'm not in the market for anything. I'm pretty happy with what I've got. Just like Jeff here, I'm pretty happy with what I got. I just got rid of some old DJ gear, and I don't need anything else. I'm pretty much good with what I've got for the main setup and for my garage setup. You're not looking for any gifts or anything for yourself, or no? Uh, no. Nah. No? no? Nothing free? Nothing, huh? I don't have much money to spend. I'm broke. <laughs> Ah, oh, I, again, I think that I think eighty-five inch TV would look good in the man man cave. No, no, no? I already got a fifty. I already got a fifty-five inch, and it fits. Uh, see, eighty-five, I'm taking a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go over to Matt. Matt, uh, Black Friday, anything special you're looking for, either for the business or for yourself? You're going to try and sneak out and get. Are you going to be at the mall at uh, six a.m. or you're going to no, Cyber uh, Monday? Uh, all the Black Friday deals are already out. So uh, if you guys aren't buying stuff, then uh, I don't know what you're doing. But uh, not all, but Amazon has all their Black Friday stuff already done. So I got, uh, I needed, I have a six foot ramp for my van. I wanted an eight foot just because it is a bit steep uh, for heavier stuff on the six foot. And it kind of hurts my knees a little bit. So got an eight foot ramp for like 35% off or so. I had, a, I had a lot of stuff in my cart for about a month or so now. And uh, a bunch of it went on sale. So I got one of those. Um, what else was on sale? Uh, I got a couple of adapters. My USB C to 3.5 millimeter ones started to die on me, so those are you know half off and stuff. What else did I buy? Uh, I was looking at it, and maybe other people could speak to it. Uh, I was looking at one of those EcoFlow things because they've got like a killer deal on the one that's like 1800 watts, and it was like 399 when it's normally 899. Uh, or a thousand or something like that. And uh, I had it in my cart, but then I was thinking about it and I'm like, I don't think I would ever need backup power anywhere because I live in California and power is good pretty much everywhere here. Um, and I've never had power go out at an event. Um, we've blown a breaker, sure, but that's my fault because too much stuff plugged into not enough amperage. But uh, so I took that out of my cart. But if you're looking for one, that's that's not a good deal. And uh, other than that, Probably some furniture. Uh, I'm going to be moving apartments. Same complex, just different unit. So I'm moving at the end of December. So I'm looking at, uh, you know, probably go to Mathis Brothers, see what's on sale and get some stuff on, on delivery order. Um, 
Other than that, I I do need a new TV uh, for my wedding shows, uh, but I need uh, one that'll fit in the flight case that I use, or I need somebody to modify the flight case because I'm not about to pay for a flight case that's more expensive than two of the TVs combined. So, but I'm kind of sick of the plasmas that I use. They're pretty ugly. So I'm looking at TVs because I that's yeah, I don't need something expensive. I just need something that's you know a good deal and can. play videos and looks half decent. Doesn't need to be a Samsung high end thing, but No, other I, than that, I, I think that's it. um, a lot of the like uh, low, the, the cheap brands at Walmart, like TCL, and there's a few And other TCL's ones. not bad. TCL's not bad either. Again, it's 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 not the best electronics, but the thing is that you know again they have a decent product, and but they're gonna have it on sale like you know a 65 inch or a 55 inch. They're gonna have some ridiculous low prices for Black Friday. If you can get now, great. If you gotta wait till Friday. Get away till Friday. The thing is that um, your moving apartment is going to a bigger apartment, or what's going on? Just going to a different unit, um, a pre premier unit. Uh, so there's, it's it's the this complex is a luxury apartment complex, but really only like five to ten percent of the units are what I would call luxury, and those are like uber luxury, like full marble showers, uh, mosaic tiling, uh, mosaic tile backsplash, black marble island built in wine fridge. a uh, freezer that makes two different types of ice. I guess that's like fancy now. Uh, black, black fixtures instead of stainless steel, black handles, like uh, all sorts of fancy stuff, panoramic windows. They've got like, instead of the basic white orange peel walls, they've got like a tan uh, Roman style swishy. I don't remember the name they called it, but uh, just looks, looks fancy. So uh, Moving into one of those, I haven't decided which one. There's two that are available here, kind of going back and forth on on which, but uh, hoping to make a decision soon so somebody else doesn't snatch it up. So, Well, congratulations yeah, that's, that's... to you, and congratulations to you and your girlfriend for going to a nice, cool apartment. We we will miss the painting unless the painting's going with you. But you no, know, it'll. Yeah, you know, that's 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 gonna. They're probably gonna make us take it down. But I showed the leasing agent. He's like, "Well, they might when you when you do your pre pre move out inspection. They might uh, they might just let you keep it because it is kind of cool and uh, we had it installed professionally, not just slapped up there. So we'll it, see." It look it does it does look cool. It looks I always like your painting over your shoulder. It looks really nice. Thank you. So I'm gonna go to Australia and I gotta ask a question because uh again, another part of the world. They, they don't you guys don't have Thanksgiving like we have here on this coming Thursday. But uh I know you guys do celebrate Christmas down there like everyone else. Uh do you do you have a Black Friday this coming Friday or is there no such thing as Black Friday in Australia? Don't understand. I don't understand. It's been we've got Black Friday sales. We've been going for about two weeks now. Um, what is it's an American thing? What is Black Friday? Black Friday is the Friday after Thanksgiving because it's the basically the all the retail agents go into the black because there's so many sales and it's a big pent up demand for Christmas. So Black Friday basically kicks off official. Christmas shopping, and this is when a lot of retailers go into the black and make their profit for the year. Up until now, yeah, right. some retailers are in the <clears> red, <throat> so you go into the black, you go into the positive when you go and you start this coming Friday. So that's what Black Friday is about. A lot of retailers now, you know, they do Black Friday sales a week or two before, but um, it, it's, it's one of the things that uh, it was traditionally, all the sales were started on Friday, you would have to get to whatever retail you wanted to. They would open early, like 6 in the morning, the day after Thanksgiving, or early, or some places were, like, open at 5, and they had these door buster deals, like they would have, like, a TV for, like, uh, you know, $100, and they only had, like, 10 TVs per store, and you had to be one of the first 10 people to get in line to get the TV, or whatever it is. You know, I'm just throwing it out there. Yep. But, uh, Yeah, there, there's, it, it's, it's, it's a fun thing. And uh, Mike is over here saying that it was like a zoo. Yes, it is. Tomorrow's brawl up brown bag Wednesday. I, I, I've heard it as blackout Wednesday. I've heard it black Wednesday for bars because that's a busy night for bars because everything's closed on Thanksgiving. It's, 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 everything's all sh uh, closed up. Only uh, things are open are ERs and uh, fire stations and police stations. And you know, hopefully those uh, men and women are all safe and enjoying themselves. But um, 
It's it's one of the things that we do have here. So are you looking at anything special for Christmas that you're seeing on sale either for yourself or for mm. you're going to get for your family? I wouldn't mind a new G7X camera, you know, the um, the vlogging camera. Mm -hmm. My my old one was great, but it's it's died now. But um, or maybe one of those three sixty cams, you know, that I can put up on the booth, you know, somewhere there. Yep, um, Insta camera, Insta three sixty. Uh, apart from that, I'm getting old, man. I'm sort of not into the buying DJ gear, buying, buying, buying. I, I don't know. I got a whole shed full of lights and. And stuff I don't use now, so <laughs> time to start maybe purging. It's just the, this... Maybe it's the next era of my career is the part where you just spend less and uh, make more profit. I don't know. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, maybe you start purging some stuff. I know uh, Brian S. Red; he had a big purge. Camera. And what, what's the so camera? That's a got? G7X, yeah. G7X. Yeah. There you go. Great. I love it. Awesome. The GoPro I, I don't even is garbage use it. compared to them. I, I don't use this anymore. It just sits in this bag. I use uh, GoPros. So I, do. I don't like preference. the GoPros. They're really slow and the lighting's not great on them. Anyway. I know uh, Insta... Um, what's up, Fire? I, I know Insta has the... Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, the, like a GoPro style... Uh, camera that a lot of people talk about because they're not running the problems. GoPro, uh, I know a couple people have said about the GoPro is overheating and pausing, um, which I was like, wow, I didn't know that. Uh, but again, I'm going by what other people are are saying about the product. And Jeff, you you've used GoPros for a while for your business as well as professionally, correct? Yeah, they're prone to overheating when you're shooting, you know, high resolutions, you know. Um, I've never had an overheating problem because I only shoot 1080, um, you know, 16 by nine. I accidentally pushed a button on this during a wedding this year and started recording full frame eight by seven at, uh, you know, it's like, and it overheated and shut off. And it's because, mm -hmm. yeah, it, you just, it's not made to record, you know, that, that much, you know, for that long. So I, I was rolling for a good 30 minutes and it just shut off. So, but you know, it, they're, they are, they're limited by, you know, what they can do. And uh, for me, they work fine. I just uh, I usually, uh, the longest I usually record is uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes at a time and then I'll stop it. You know, I've got a uh, little remote control that I use to, um, to That's handy. start and stop it, you know, so I don't have to, you know, go up on the, you know, on top of the, uh to, to reach it and, and everything so and then i've got a um uh, a battery pack external battery pack that i use so but it's you know it, it's like you always say it's whatever works for you uh some some people you know they they like using the g7x and it's a great camera it, it records great it, it's it's got you know good resolution um but it's just a little big bigger form factor and you know i'm just used to using gopros so for me, it works. And that's a big, that's a big thing. Again, there's a lot of uh, stuff on sale. One of the things Mikey Mike said, the Sony Z is in Zebra, V is in Victor 1. I think that's one that, uh, that uh, Nathan uses uh, for his stuff. Uh, he, I, I know, uh, I, again, I think Nathan uses a, uh, I think that's the one that he uses for everything he records for his gig logs and for his uh unboxings if i remember correctly and uh yeah nathan i see that you're getting ready for tomorrow no problem i know you got a lot going on uh especially with uh er with the uh the wake and everything like that for mike so and it, it's it's one of the things that uh uh i know uh, nathan's done stuff with cameras and of course jeff's done stuff with cameras uh i i just use my phone um uh, i had a separate camera and it's just old um and Trace doesn't like using it because it's uh, a Canon with a lens, and you, you got to zoom in and zoom out. It takes a second or two to focus, and she doesn't allow, mm. you know, turn the lens to zoom in, zoom out, and she likes to just press buttons. Um, and then, uh, okay, so uh, he's saying Z is in zebra, V is in victory, E10 
is a camera that uh, DJ Fire has, Nathan. So, and that's 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 one of the things that. Um, uh, let's see here. Mike says his one is a little bit older camera, but still it works great. That's the important thing. If it still works, it still works. Um, but that's that's you know the fun stuff, and especially with uh, the holiday season coming up. There's sometimes some deals sneaking in here and there with stuff, and uh, that's what I said. It doesn't have to be for the business; it can be for yourself, and that's what uh, you know. Everything going on out there. It's it's a lot of sales, a lot of great stuff on sale. Uh, I know I keep getting inundated with emails. I'm sure everyone here is with all the companies saying, "Hey, I have a, we have a sale on this, sale on that for for the holiday season." So with Christmas right around the corner, um, there's some some great deals. So the next thing I want to go to is um, one of the things. Looking back at your last basically 11 months of business this year. What are you thankful for, for your business? You know, what is the things that you're thankful for in your business? Is there, are you thankful for the amount of business you've had? Are you thankful for having a, a new piece of gear or a meeting new friends or growing your business? Or what, what are you thankful for in your business this year? And I'm going to go with Jeff uh, first on that one. Uh, what are you thankful for, for your <clears throat> business this year? Good question. I don't know. <laughs> um, why did you come to me first? Uh, um, I can come back if you want to. I can yeah, go to Hunter. Yeah. Right off the top of my head, um, you know, I'm just thankful for um, for my health. You know, because quite often I'm working alone and I'm, uh, you know, loading subs and you know speakers and uh, you know monitors, TVs. So I'm just uh, thankful that my back is uh, still in pretty decent shape. Mm. So let's just say that. Yeah, making sure body parts are still working at the end of the season. That's always – backs that's and knees are always important and stuff like that. And, you know, like with me, I have – Tracy helps me with uh, the weddings. And, you know, she does the coordination side, but she also beasts out and she carries stuff in. Uh, much like uh, we're kind of – like the uh, the sound couple and a lot of things, Tracy will take a cart of stuff in along with myself. So it's it's it, it's 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 a it's it's a great time for uh, looking back and looking back upon uh, having Tracy and having her with me. And I'm grateful for her being part of the business over all these years. And that's that's one of the things having that partner, having that uh, the extra person there, and also our employees too. I'm grateful for them. We got some really good uh, good employees that uh, come out and. They really put 110% into working, which is uh, very good to make our customers happy. And uh, it's one of the things that uh, I feel if you take care of your employees, you take care of everyone around you, your it will show in your customer service and it will show for your customers because happy employees equal happy customers. I always believe that. And I, when I was in retail management, I always made sure that that um, that my employees, if I had to do something, if, you know, something simple out of my own pocket, like buying a pizza for a pizza party or something like that, just to celebrate some things and, and thank them once in a while. I always felt it was an important thing to thank and make sure the employees are happy. So Hunter, I know you have no employees, but I know you're thankful for a lot of things. Uh, what were you well, thankful I'm, this year for your business? Well, I'm actually thankful just like Jeff, like my health, because, you know, I'm a solo DJ and I can continue to DJ in really good health. I haven't had any serious issues this year and I've had some really good DJ gigs like school gigs and I've had some really great gigs this year I'm also really thankful that I get to be part of this show every single Tuesday night it gives me something to do on a Tuesday night and I'm also thankful for the friends from school friends from church that support me in my business I'm just thankful for a lot of mm. things well the thing is that I, 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 we were talking before the show uh, started and I was asking Hunter he's like you know I feel a little tired I'm like, uh, why don't you go get a coffee? And I told him, I said, you know, take your take your golf cart down, go in the drive through mute yourself, and then you know, tell him that, you know, and go up to the window and have the the person at the window give a plug for the show. But he's like, no, no. He goes, I can't do that right now. His cart's not working 100. percent So I'm like, oh man, that that would be cool. But one of these days, one of these days, maybe you could do that. You can go over to get coffee during the show, and uh, we go riding with uh, Hunter through uh, That'd be pretty cool. through the neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> Go dog, go dog, dog of donuts. You know, pull up to the drive-through. Be like, hey, I want to get a coffee. And then, hey, do me a favor when I turn it on. Uh, 
you know, get a plug for our show. <laughs> well, I can't do that anyway because it's not registered for the for the street. I can't uh, really I stay you in can the ride neighborhood. Down the, uh, streets around there. Uh, no, just around the neighborhood. Ah, uh, how far is the Dunkin' Donuts yeah. away? A good five, ten, fifteen minutes or so. Ah, see, well, maybe, maybe you go. Maybe you have your dad drive you over there and do that that yeah. way. So, uh, yeah. Dinah Blenton, I, I know in Australia you guys don't have Thanksgiving like we have here, but is there anything you're thankful for for this past year with your business and everything? Uh, I've had some pretty good gigs this year. I've had some bigger events. Um, <clears throat> I've always been paid. I've never had to chase money, so that's something to be thankful for. And, yeah, I've just just dealt with some good people this year. So I haven't done as many gigs this year, but, you know, I'm happy with the amount I'm getting, you know. Gone are the days where I, you know, I've got to pump out 50 gigs this year or, you know, or I'm not a real DJ. Um, yeah, I'm happy with the amount of gigs I'm doing and, yeah, all good. Well, and, and that's the important thing. I don't think a DJ is measured by how many gigs they do it's how many gigs they do well and if you're doing you know whatever gigs you're doing doing two gigs one gig a hundred gigs if you're doing all very well and you have happy customers that to me is the most important thing if you 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 shouldn't measure by how many gigs total you have now again uh, we always want as many gigs as we possibly can handle yes we want to make Mm -hmm. the money yes but the thing is that if someone does one gig or a hundred gigs it shouldn't matter it should matter we're at the end of the day, the customer's happy. If you're um, just for the sake of doing more gigs and sacrificing the quality, then in my opinion, it's not not a good idea. You know what I mean? I'd rather do less gigs at a higher quality than force myself to, you know, do three weddings in a weekend or something. But that's just me. I mean, if you can handle it, then all the best to you. Yep. Yeah, we, we, we had some double um, double ended weekends, you know, one on Friday, one on Saturday, or one Friday, one on Sunday, or one, one Saturday, weekend. one Sunday. Uh-huh. And that, that's as far as we want to go. We did, we've done one weekend yeah. a while ago that we actually had two weddings in one day and then two other weddings the next two days. So we did like four weddings. Never again. Never want to do yeah. that again. And it's like, no, it's just too much. We're just, yeah. we're dead tired too and much. no. And that's when we first started the business, and I'm like, yeah, no, I'd never do that again. That's one of the things. I got a few yeah. uh, comments here. Uh, DJ Fire, uh, if anyone wants uh, a mem- uh, memorial shirt for Mike James, uh, he's placing this uh, order in uh, tomorrow. So if you want to get a hold of uh, DJ Fire, and I'm sure that after this, if you're watching this on YouTube, if you want a shirt uh, to support uh, – uh, Mike James for his passing. You can get a hold of DJ Fire. I'm sure you can order some more down the road. Um, Mikey Mike says, "Thankful for I'm my own boss. My wife had her hip replace, uh, replacement surgery, so I look uh, to take it slow for the next three and a half months. Health is another uh, thing. I have my spinal cord uh, stimulator, so I crank it up. But most of my uh, most of the work my son does uh, for his setup." And then uh, Nathan said, I'm definitely tired. I can sleep for days. Well, again, and Nathan, I know you have a lot going on down there, especially with uh, everything going for Mike and your work. I see that you're busy on YouTube. So hopefully uh, you do get some rest, uh, especially with Thanksgiving or that uh, this coming weekend. Um, oh, and Mikey, Mike, if you're watching this, um, I will be praying for you, be praying that everything goes well with you in 2025 and the years to come. And I'll be praying oh, for yeah. you, buddy. Mike, Mike needs, Mike needs a little help here he and there. Needs to come Prayers on are always good. So Chris is not there and Matt's not there. Uh, Matt <laughs> ran off somewhere. He's probably making dinner. He's probably cooking. Cause if you guys didn't know, Matt is kind of a chef. Uh, if you remember some of the earlier episodes, Matt was cooking. Yeah, uh, there's Matt. He's okay. back, and there's Chris. Hey. So I, guess, I hear I my got, name. I got Chris. So Chris, uh, I'm gonna go with you first because I haven't you haven't really talked much because I know you're busy. Um, first thing first, 
anything on the Black Friday list that you're going to look that you're looking for that you'd want to get either for your business or for yourself? Is there anything out there like the 85 inch TV for sixty uh, six six hundred dollars no. or anything? No, there's nothing of it that seems to oppress me this year for technology. Really? Uh, for myself. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Nothing I, I can I, think of. I haven't really done much stopping. Uh, and then um, I do know that um, um, I do know that you're busy and stuff like that, so I'm not going to take too much time up here. But the next oh, question sorry. is what are you thankful this year for your business and for yourself? Well, for the expansion of a few businesses that have contacted me to be uh, their go-to person for different things. Um, right now, I'm at a venue right now, and uh, I'm hopefully filling my first contract with them. Right now, I've already got kind of almost <clears throat> half the work done right now. Right now, all that's left is finishing up the lighting. They're getting a new lighting controller, computerized, and they're using a very old stuff, but I just got to integrate what they have here, and they bought from someplace else a few extra f fixtures, moving moving heads. So you're installing, yeah, in installation. Yeah, I'm installing them. Yeah, yeah, installation. Mm. You want so, you want to show uh, what you're installing there real quickly? Ah, uh, yes, I can go ahead and do that. They picked up some used equipment. Let's see if I can turn on the flashlight here to see the area. Here's that we just get a bunch of shadows, you know. You go <laughs> so American DJ moving heads. They picked up some, some used three of those. They have already three Elation uh, Power Spot 250s already up there. They have this very old you're still, school. You're still, on, you're still on your camera. You didn't turn the camera around. Am I? I'm so yeah. sorry. There you go. There we go. It's old. Martin Atomic 3000 DMX, Elation Power Spot 250s. They got three of those and some disco balls. And, um, you know, they've got their uh, moving monogram on the floor right near one of the uh, rear entrances. All right. So we get a nice good move. Oh. Slopes Ooh, Hunter Mountain, cool. baby. Yeah, it's really nice. That is cool. Yeah. So they got two bars in the whole area and it's got a pool billiards place restaurant that's a nice bear they got up there there's the dj booth for everybody to see wow yes this is leather is that leather or pleather leather that's, that's leather that's leather that's Not real plastic? leather that's no wow. that's real leather is it fine corinthian <laughs> leather Two subs right underneath the DJ booth. Wow. Mirror backsplash for the DJs. Uh, you know, Hazer, Siren. You know, so. What's, what size, what size nice subs cool. are those? Uh, those are those are two dual 18s. Oh, there you go. Oh, Matt, 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 Matt would be there in a heartbeat. Oh. Then. That's, that's, that, 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 gets, that gets Matt uh, excitement. Only 18s, you say? EVs. Uh, oh, got it. Oh, Damn. sorry. Sorry. Oh, oh, oh. oh. And I got to beat you again. Language. Language. Oh, cool, God. man. You showed us the <laughs> magic. Not cool. I think I back. Old, old EV. <laughs> old EV is acceptable. This is DJ Sire. All right. Um, so. <laughs> Find out what you're saying. No, I said old old EV is good. New yes, EV. Yes, they are very old. Yeah, old EV. Very, was these are from well. the 90s, Matt. Probably yeah. like That's a hand pass set up. Right, I'll, I'll show you guys a little gem. I'll show you the, the audio rack and the processor we're working with. You guys want to see old school. Brown amps? That's oh. RPM 88. Wow. Multi-processor. Now this is the sub amps. They have two of them. They're Crest CPX 2600. So those are their subs. All right. This is what they're using for their main tops. They just got this one because they burnt out the other one. Brown. Okay. And then this is for their booth monitors. The CA2 from Crest. So 
and they have an old QSC. This handles all the satellite speakers for the surround sound fill at the bar when it's a restaurant more. So, wow, yeah, old school. I uh, I actually contacted yeah. uh, in music brands one of their level two techs. Got to get thank Matthew for sending me some information on how to get into that multiprocessor and stuff. So, oh, there you go, in music. Thank you. Yes. So we got to thank them. All right. But that's pretty much it. That's what I've been working on. All right. I got to go away. I'll catch you guys later. And no uh, problem, any other Chris. questions there, buddy? No, no. Go ahead, man. You got you got a lot of stuff to do there. Have fun and enjoy yourself. And happy right. Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving all. There. Everyone, happy Turkey Day and get stuffed. <laughs> there <Yeah>. you go. <laughs> Perfect transition. Uh, in music, uh, repaired my Rain 4, even though it was out of warranty, for no cost. There you go. Uh, it was a short on the PCB, so they replaced the whole PCB, and now it works great. And I returned uh, the new one that I had bought in the interim to Zounds, and uh, we're good working working with what we had before. So, well, why don't you keep the, why don't you keep the other one as a backup because things do happen. It's, I I shouldn't need a backup if it's made as well as Rain claims it made. You yeah, will if you go. Oh, every, everything well, electronic. Like wine glasses bad. above your controller again. Hey, I I was watching her. She had that thing gripped like a. <laughs> <laughs> she had a, like five people had slid into my DM saying that <laughs> like she got the whole thing right over your control. Whatever, it's fine. I'm a risk taker. I, 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 got I definitely service. would say you always want you always want a backup item. You know, never know something may happen. You know, yeah. some idiot spills a drink on your stuff, and you know. Mm, and then uh, Mike, uh, Mikey, Mike said, "Do you like Zounds? I bought stuff from Zounds. I I like I them. Do. What do you, Matt? There, it it's hit and miss. I they used to be great with price matching, um, and even if it wasn't something to match to, they would give you like a good five to ten percent off the price. Now they basically do what Sweetwater does and give you like. 20 30 bucks like it's it's terrible and uh they basically give they basically just cover the the tax so um i haven't ordered much from them in a while the only thing i like about them that makes me go back to them is that you can do up to three thousand dollars split over 12 payments with no credit check and no credit card uh mm -hmm. just as like a pay as you go plan so i like that um their returns are easy their customer service is great um other than that i mean i I've had better pricing from Guitar Center of all places. You just hit them up, they'll give you, you know, 15, 20% off sometimes. I got a 20% off anything coupon uh, up to $1,000 that you can use for anything at Guitar Center that they just sent me out of nowhere. So uh, them, Hollywood DJ is better because you can always get 15 to 20% off just from signing up for their newsletter. Just use a different email every time. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, but otherwise, I mean, they got great customer service. The, can't you know can't go wrong with them but they're just not price pricing is not as competitive as what it used to be and their selection of products is consumer level they very rarely have anything of like a dual 18 or higher uh, but they have started to stock some like uh like that's where i got my rcf dual 18 from was zounds so uh shout out to zounds there you go zounds for the win uh, question for you, since uh, Chris already asked, answered the questions. Is there anything for Black Friday that you're looking for, either for your business or for yourself or you for your new apartment? That. Oh, no, we already asked you that one. And then you the other one, where are you already answered that. You you're looking for thing. furniture stuff. Um, but um, what you call it? Are you, what are you thankful thank for you. this uh, this year, for your business or for yourself? Uh, definitely business. Um Business is up about 25%, uh, so that's that's good. Um, what else? Uh, I mean, obviously, happy for health, whatever. Um, happy to have a, a place to call home and to eat and family is still here and everyone's still getting together for the holidays, so, you know, all the normal stuff. But I don't know. I, I, I'm thankful that I, I have uh, the drive still, even after, <laughs> you know, I, I get not hit with stuff but just you know it's like people I, I don't get discouraged i guess as easily as before i used to kind of like take it personally when they went with a different dj and now it's like well you know f off i'll find somebody else to book me yeah. you don't appreciate me for my rates so you know we're seeing a lot of cheap people i think people are kind of scared with
first and just going to see what happens between now and, and January. Uh, I think bookings will pick up after the holidays more, but um, I don't know. Thankful we're uh, thankful to make new connections and have great clients and, you know, still be able to rock the house. And that's probably it. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Yeah, that's probably it. Well, again, it's, not everyone is your client, and sometimes, you know, people will come and ask for stuff, and you're like, eh, yeah, unfortunately, um, this is what I feel I'm worth. And, again, someone's cheaper, that's what they feel that they're worth, you know. Uh, I, I just saw a thing on um, a Facebook group uh, for, uh, I think it's one of, one of the ones you're on for uh, uh brides and uh, vendors to connect on uh, Matt and uh, there was a DJ there had a very low price and again he anybody could charge any price they want to all there's a lot of factors in there I'm not telling what people should charge for their services but again he they feel he feels that that's what he is worth and I'm not going to tell someone to charge this or charge that because I'm not paying their bills and again every market's different but the thing is that do I feel people should charge uh, a fair amount? Yes, I, I feel you should be charged a fair amount. What that fair amount is, that's entirely up to you. And you should always, always, always uh, make sure that you're, uh, you're making money because that's what you're in business for, to make some money to pay bills. <laughs> uh, did the, any of the DJs ever use Tag Editor Lite? I always use Tag Editor on virtual DJ. I, I have a very, like my my color system for flags or tag. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I use the Tag Editor all the time to, uh, whenever you download stuff from like DMS or uh, DJ Pool Records or any one of those, like there's always a little thing in there under remix and virtual DJ shows that remixer as like the track title and I don't like all that extra fluff. So I always delete all those. I, I use like mass tag editor. So I'll basically highlight all of them, go into the remix field, just hit the space bar and then hit delete. So that way it clears mm -hmm. out all the remixes because it says the remix in the title. I don't need it there twice. And then I use colors to uh, organize like a, I'll build a playlist for the night. Here's a good pro tip for everybody. I build a, uh, I ask the couple like what they want for music and I'll get their requests. I'll put all their requests in a playlist. I use iTunes still. So put a playlist in iTunes of their requests. I'll add those requests to another playlist, add in the rest of the stuff I think would fit with the night. Then I'll go into virtual DJ and tag all those requests with like a yellow flag. And that way I have a little, uh, a button so I can at any point just click that button. It'll show all their requests there. Uh, and then I have another button for unplayed. And then I have another button for uh, what I call trials is like stuff that I've been digging personally lately that I want to just kind of throw in the mix. So uh, I think half of DJing now is like, there's so much music and things I struggle with is like, I don't want to play the same crap over and over again. I want to mix in new stuff all the time. So uh, I'm the fact that I'm able to kind of hit a button and see what's new and uh, play it is all through thanks to the tag editor. There you go. Virtual so, DJ is very good at suggesting songs. Oh, no, it's terrible at that. It well, needs not, to, it, it's got to be better to than enable, Serato. <laughs> it needs to enable it to where it'll only suggest stuff that's on the playlist you're already on. It still doesn't yeah, have that. Uh, I don't want it to select from 13,000 songs in my library. <laughs> see what I'm playing, see what playlist I'm hovering over, and then give me one from there. That would be useful. Well, maybe with technology, so, especially with the AI systems there, there, um, that be. is one of the things. I know uh, some people are going to chat uh, GPT for uh, to do playlists, you know. So it, it's one of the things that you never know. Um, virtual DJ is always looking for ways to upgrade. Um, I use Virtual DJ. I love it. But I'm sure Serato and Recordbox and Algorithm, um, Algorithm and everyone else is looking at stuff. Even Tractor is probably looking at stuff to do for upgrades. So you never know. We, you may turn a corner. Uh, you know, who, who knew stems was going to be a couple years ago? And all of a sudden, boom, we got stems now. So uh, you never know. You never know. Yeah, uh, you know, last thing you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, Engine DJ just got stems. And for me, in December, it's going to be a paid upgrade. I probably won't have my money to get the stems in my Mixstream Pro. So I'm kind of screwed either way. Oh, how much? How much is the upgrade? 
I don't know. They have, they haven't announced subscription. A it's like ten, it's ten bucks, ten bucks a month, I think, or maybe twenty. For Aaron Strawn had said something about yeah, it. Yeah, if, it, if it's like ten bucks a month, you know, that's 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 not much. Hundred and twenty dollars a year for divided by you know all the gigs you do. Even you do two gigs, that's uh, sixty dollars a gig. That's not much. Add sixty bucks to your next gig. Just yeah. keep adding it. Yep, charge, charge a few bucks. Someone's more. not going to mind paying an extra sixty bucks. I won't even question it. Yeah, they won't know it's even better. <laughs> I said three hundred to somebody's because uh, I just was like, "Oh, your budget's thirty five hundred, and uh, I had my regular price at like twenty nine seventy five, and then I say, "Oh, well, we're going to do another like it's uh, it only covers six hours, and they're starting at three thirty instead of four. I say, "Oh, I'll just add a little bit for the extra half hour, and I added three hundred bucks. They just signed it and didn't even ask." But they did uh, say it was going to be a one time purchase. Oh, okay, so it's you know, see, cry now and you know, smile later. That's what they always say. You know, you put a few bucks out. If it's a hundred bucks, you know, virtual DJ is three hundred dollars for a license, and that's you know, one time you buy the license, you're good for a lifetime. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's that's like it's a lot still, of software. You buy it, you buy it, you pay for it, and you know, you're making money with it. That's that's the thing. Um, I want to go to the next thing, and this is something that I've seen on. Uh, a couple of forums, and um, I wish Brentley was here because Brentley, uh, it's it's one of the forums he deals with with Wisconsin uh, DJs, is where they go after um, a gig, and some people go have you know they go to certain places after a gig to get some eat or something to drink or uh, they go to get a coffee or whatever. So I want to ask, what is your go to place after a gig? I'm going to start with. Uh, Kurt there in uh, Australia there, DJ Dinoblend. So what's your favorite place to go? And I, I know McDonald's you guys call McDonald's Mackers, and it's up Burger King, it's I, Hungry Jack's. But what is your go-to place after a gig? Yeah, you're yeah. hungry, you're thirsty, you want to grab something. Where's your go-to place? I always, used to go, I always used to go to Hungry Jack's, which is Burger King, but they're not doing 24-hour anymore, so I was got it. Ah. Oh. So what, what, yeah, your, what, was, where's your go-to place now? Yeah. Now I just come home and have a, a microwave frozen meal. <laughs> it's pathetic. Oh, <laughs> man. Well, they, they took away my favorite spot to go after a gig. Ah, oh, there's no, uh, like, cool late-night gas stations they have, like, great food in uh, Australia? Oh, um, yeah, no? yeah, but that's men. There's pies and sausage rolls. I'm not really mm, into that sort of food. The the one thing is here, uh, like in Wisconsin's Quick Trip, they have, uh, they do have quite a bit of food at Quick Trip. Uh, here, uh, in the Chicago area, I got a few different gas stations, and they have actually quite a bit of stuff after midnight. Uh, not just you know microwave, uh, you know sandwiches or hot dogs on a hot dog roller. Uh, they have quite a bit of stuff there, but before they, uh, during the daytime they have much more. But uh, one of the brands is Casey's. Uh, I th- I'm not sh- I haven't done it yet, but I think you can still pick up a pizza because they make their pizzas in house. They have a pizzeria inside the the gas station, and you see them, they That's throw the dough in the air the whole nine yards, and they'll make a pizza fresh for you. So, mm. uh, but they also usually have slices to go as well. So it's something that uh, you know I usually go to McDonald's. Or Burger King, or Wendy's, one of those three, because usually they're open on the way uh, coming home. And I would stop and get something, you know, small to eat, because I haven't eaten, because I don't eat, usually eat at a wedding. So, uh, yeah. Matt, what is you your. Eat uh, at a wedding? I don't usually eat at the weddings. I'm too busy. Matt, Why? Are we going to go down that road? <laughs> <laughs> I just, you the better be me. Then it better be a dang, dang good meal. Yeah. yeah. The amount of weddings I've done. Matt, Matt, I Matt, Matt will also it. waste away and pass out. He would oh, I'm so hungry. It's and in my out. contract. You were feeding me, and I'm getting appetizers. Both. They're yeah. in my contract. I think I'm going to have to start that too because it's, it's, yeah. Like, I'm setting up for three hours. You better believe I'm yeah. getting the appetizers. Half the time, these venues give you a vendor meal. I don't want that crap. Give me the nice appetizers at least that I'm getting. So. Oh, I know a venue where you can't, they don't give you a meal. They don't give you appetizers and you're not allowed at the bar. Oh, there's, 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 there's venues here like that. They I, uh, actually take, I, they I actually take the water. vendors and put them in a separate room. Yeah, that's a cool. room. 
That's yeah. fine. I like that. Green room. But they know. give you the leftovers from cocktail hour. Yeah. Um, I, 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 excuse my French. My late night, uh, my late night snack is, uh, well, it depends. Uh, usually, I, like I said, I eat a lot at the wedding, so I'm usually not hungry when I get home. But uh, we got a Wendy's down the street, nice. and uh, other than that, uh, uh, if I'm feel if I'm feeling patient, in and out. But it's uh, that's going to be at least a twenty thirty minute trek because the, the the one over here is always busy. And uh, well, in and out, your in and out is like Portillo's is here. There's always I finally a line had those places. Uh, I finally had Portillo's. Yeah, by the way. And? Yeah, there's one next to uh, Knott's Berry. It's delicious, absolutely delicious. I got the the full the full dip where they dip the whole thing. Yeah, and uh, all the peppers, and uh, yep. it was delicious. Sweet and hot. Spicy. Yep, it's delicious. You got jar and our, Did you get did you get the mozzarella on there? You get cheese on it? Uh, no, I'm not a cheese guy. I'm not a cheese steak guy. Okay. so no. But uh, it was very good. Bread. Did was you delicious. get yourself a cake shake? No, we were <laughs> we were gonna start drinking for the night. I looked at that. My buddy did too, and we were like. We we're, were going to Not Scary Farm, and we were going to get kind of drunk. So I was like, it's not going to show up well in the uh, other end the next day. And I'm lactose intolerant somewhere. Oh, well, so. yeah, you don't you don't want that. I don't want you to have any problems. But looked very you can, good, though. You, you can at least get uh, the chocolate cake. Yeah, maybe, maybe next time. Now now that I know uh, it's good. I, and I've, I've looked for a place like that. I love that the sweet hot pepper mix that I always see at grocery stores and I love well, now, now I know that now I know to send you a jar of uh, jaranera from here yeah, to cool. get you get you going at least that part. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy a Blackstone grill and just start making it myself. Get some shaved beef and get the dip. Uh, get some nice. Oh no, you, you you basically that's that's roasted and it just sits in the, the juice all day. And the funny thing is that uh, the plant that makes all the Italian beef is mm -hmm. uh, about twelve minutes away from my house here. And they ship it out to California. They have, they have well, I, I want to say it's three or four trucks that are rotating hmm. that come there and they pick up all the Italian beef hot dogs and stuff like that and take it out to California and out to Arizona. They have a bunch of trucks doing that. They take the trailers. And I see the trailers all the time leaving from uh, the the plant over here where I go past it. Um, well, it was very and good. they do the catering out of there, which is uh, pretty cool. It's a big, it's a big, huge place. And they got tons of people working there because it feeds all the restaurants – all the Portillo's, including Florida and, and Minnesota, they make all the stuff there for all the restaurants across the whole U.S. And that's shipped that day out to those restaurants. And that Italian beef you get, it's basically whatever time it takes from come to Chicago there, the two days, it's it's there. It's seal, vacuum sealed, and it, it's 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 just like you have at the restaurants. Uh, Jeff, what's your uh, go-to place after a gig? Uh. Usually home, where I can uh, sit down and enjoy a cold beer and whatever I've got in the fridge. Um, but if I'm up for it, you know, the, um, my favorite outside of the home would just be uh, late night, swing by sheets and uh, get their loaded tater tots, and that's always uh, that's always a good. Sheets is unhealthy. always crazy busy. Sheets, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's after midnight, you know, and they're the only thing open just about other yeah. than Taco Bell. And um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's about. But most of the time, nine out of ten times, I'll just come straight home and um, you know, um, pull out my. Um, I'll bring my computer in, and usually my GoPros, and and then I'll just pop a you know, pop a cold one and uh, sit back and usually uh, by the time I'm home, Saturday Night Live is on and I'll uh, just kick kick back and Very cheaply. So snack right on from some uh, chips or something. Parts.abj.com so. And that's that's one of the things that um, Sheets is out east or a gas station. That, that's why I asked you, uh, Kurt, if there was any gas station like that. There's The, the gas station's here actually like sheets is a restaurant with that's that has gas they have multiple gas pumps not like the like you see, if you see on youtube like the buckies it's not huge they're big stations and when i worked for exxon mobile corp i actually my first sheets i saw was out uh out east in a, a wash in a washington dc area in virginia and i was there at 11 o'clock at night and they have a dual drive through so it's two booths mm. And they had a, a, it, a weight. It looked like a Chick Fil A. They had a weight for the drive-through, and then the gas pumps were all. Every gas pump was had had customers at, and they had cars. The whole entire front of the lot was par, uh, for parking. 
was full mm. and the restaurant uh, the, well, the restaurant inside as well as the whole entire uh, convenience store was just packed with people they had like three registers running they had tons of employees wow. going and it, 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 they are a uh, powerhouse sheets uh, and they're expanding further and further west they're in Ohio right now and I think they're going to go to Indiana mm-hmm. next uh, I think I saw a thing but they're like in Columbus and they're going through Ohio so they are coming further and further west and going south too. So and up in the northeast, you got Wawa. So similar. Yep, Wawa up there. Yep, and I, you know I, I've seen some people comparing Sheets and Wawa. I know they're going to have a battle in some markets because um, they were they're going in a certain market to compete against each other. Like I have QT here for Quick Trip. They're coming new to Chicago. They have that. Uh, Casey's is also like that. Uh, and again, it would be interesting who else comes here to Chicago. So last but not least, I'm going to finish up with a cool thing here. Uh, what's your go-to after gig uh, place? Do you stop at uh, Dunkin' Donuts and get a donut? Or do you go to a place to get food? Or do you wait to get home? What do you do? Uh, after the gig, I usually come home because I got a lot of stuff to unpack. I just want to sit down here, up here in the main cave and just relax after a long day because I'm always tired sending up for two, three hours or so or however long the gig is sending up and not being able to sit down. And, and I usually eat the gig and usually it's a lot of like country style cooking or anything like that. It was And the food's pretty good. And if I go to a gas station, it's either going to be 7-Eleven, Speedway, BP. Yeah, uh, uh, Speedway usually has uh, you know, uh, food too. Uh, BP, some of the BPs, like some of the BPs here are pretty big. And then sometimes they have shared space where they have a restaurant part of that. Uh, like one of the BPs here has a subway in it. Another one has McDonald's in it. So, and then McDonald's is open 24 hours. So you have McDonald's slash BP. So if you wanted to get something to drink or you want a bag of potato chips with your you know, a quarter pounder, you can do that and you know, mix and match, basically. You know, buy, buy stuff at McDonald's and buy stuff from the C store. So you're not stuck with the same stuff. Um, Mike was saying for you, Matt, uh, this is a separate problem. Uh, this way, I bring it into virtual DJ. I don't have to worry about anything. And he, I think he's talking about the tag editor on what he's doing there. So... Wow, hour has already gone by already, man. It's it's, it's yeah. hour goes by pretty quick, especially with all the stuff. And again, we talked about three different things here. And if you can do me a favor, you guys out there watching on YouTube, put down below wh- wh- where where's your you know wh- what do you do after a gig, and what are you thankful for? You know, uh, is there something that you're looking for? You know, in Black Friday, tell me. I had three questions for people here. Tell me what you think and feel for this uh, coming week or. Not too distant future, you know, with the holidays coming up and everything like that. And again, I on, know on YouTube you're going to watch this after Thanksgiving. Hopefully you had a great Thanksgiving. Lots of turkey, stuffing, cranberry sauce, and potatoes and whatnot. Or you're doing ham or whatever you're doing for Thanksgiving. Hopefully you and your family are enjoying themselves and you get to enjoy it with them. You're safe and you're comfortable. With everyone here, again, I got to thank everyone, especially Dynamo come all from Australia. I was hoping... I was hoping Paul was going to be here. We had two Aussies here, but, you know. I was hoping he was too. But... Yeah. I, 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 get, I get two Aussies on here, you know. And then you guys can, like, you know, north and south kind of battle out a little bit, you know. <laughs> but it's always great to have you on here, sir. And as always, it's always great to have you all watching the show. I appreciate it. And uh, this week we're going to go out. Actually, I'm gonna, Kurt, I'm going to have you take it out tonight for uh, for the show. So go ahead and tell everyone to have a good night. Make sure you subscribe and like and tell your friends. Invite another DJ. There you go, just like the song said. Is that it? (laughs) Peace out. Have fun. Peace out. Peace out.